Hello, and welcome to another Orange Coast College Mathematics video. In this video, we're going to learn how to simplify radical expressions. Now before we begin, I'm going to assume that you're familiar with a few things, namely properties of exponents, and some properties of radical expressions, namely the multiplication property, which is to say if I take the nth root of a times b, I can write that as the nth root of a times the nth root of b. And secondly, the cancellation property, if I have a positive number here, the nth root of a to the n is a. And finally, when n is odd, then I can take the nth root of negative a to the n, and that will give me negative a. We begin with a simple example. So if I want to simplify the square root of 72, what does that mean to simplify it? This will be simplified when there are no factors under the radical that are perfect squares. So if we were to look at the factorization, the prime factorization of 72, 72, I could write that if I wanted to as 36 times 2, and of course 36 is 6 squared. Okay. Now, what we do is we use the multiplication property of radicals. So this is just the square root of 6 squared times the square root of 2. Okay, I can use that property we had on the previous slide in the beginning of the video, right, by simply writing the square root of this product as the product of the square roots. And now, the square root of 6 squared is 6, and this leaves me with 6 times the square root of 2. Now, my radical sign has no perfect square factors underneath it. We consider this to be simplified. Example 2, we want to simplify the square root of 18b to the 4th. We're going to assume here that b is non-negative. Now, it turns out in this particular problem, if b were negative, we could still simplify this, but it makes things weird. So, we'll just pretend it's non-negative. So, we start out by factoring, finding the prime factorization of any numerical factors. So 18 uh, can be written as 3 squared times 2, because it's 9 times 2. And then b to the 4th, I can write b to the 4th as b squared squared. Okay. And now we're going to use the multiplication property, and I can write this as the square root of 3 squared times the, three, the square root of 2, times the square root of b squared squared. And now for the square root of 3 squared, right, the square root and the square cancel out, leaving with just 3. Then I have the square root of 2. And finally, the square root will cancel out sort of the, the outer squared back there, okay, the outer exponent. So you end up with just b squared here. And I'm going to rearrange these factors to be 3b squared times the square root of 2. And now we're done, right? We have no more uh, perfect squares underneath the radical. Example 3. We want to simplify the cube root of 250a to the fifth. Again here, we will assume that a is not negative, although for this problem, it doesn't really matter. So uh, we again start by, we need to find the prime factorization of any numerical factor. So 250 is 125 times 2, and 125 is 5 cubed. So 250 becomes 5 cubed times 2. Now for a to the fifth, a to the fifth is not a perfect cube. Okay, but what we can do is we can write it as a cubed times a squared, like that. Okay, and now we just use the multiplication property to break up all of these factors. So we have the cube root of 5 cubed, the cube root of 2, the cube root of a cubed, and the cube root of a squared. Okay, And now we use the sort of cancellation property of the cubes and the cube root. So the cube root of 5 cubed is 5. And then we have the cube root of 2. 2 is not a perfect cube, so nothing we can do there. Then we have the cube root of a cubed. Again, the cube root and the cube cancel out, giving us just an a. And then finally, we have the cube root of a squared. a squared is not a perfect cube, right? We would need one more factor of a in there. We don't have it. So we leave that as the cube root of a squared. And now what we're going to do is I'm going to sort of rearrange these factors. I'm going to write the 5a. And then I'm going to use the multiplication property to put these two factors back under one cube root uh, sign. So we have the cube root 
of 2a squared. And now we have simplified this radical expression. There are no perfect cubes under the radical. And we're done. Here's our final example. We want to find the fifth root of negative 96, u to the 12th, v to the 10th. As before, we start with the prime factorization of negative 96. Now 96 is 32 times 3, and 32 is 2 to the 5th power. So this can be rewritten as negative 2 to the 5th times 3. And then we have u to the 12th, v to the 10th. Now, the next step here is to split up these powers of u and v. I'm going to leave this negative 2 to the 5th times 3 here. And we want to find the largest power of u that's a multiple of 5. And so that would be u to the 10th, right? Because 10 is a multiple of 5. So we have u to the 10th. Left over, we'll have u squared. We want to do the same thing for v, but we have v to the 10th power. That's already a multiple of 5, so we're good there. And now we use the multiplication property, and I'm going to write two parts to this, basically. I'm going to have the fifth root. I'm going to take all of the factors in there that were perfect fifth roots. So we have negative 2 to the fifth, u to the tenth, and v to the tenth. Okay, and we'll write that times all of the remaining factors we have, which ends up being 3u squared. Okay, that's just using the multiplication property of of roots, of nth roots. Now, we can simplify this first fifth root here, since they're all perfect, uh, all the powers in there, all the factors are perfect fifth roots. Okay, so negative two to the fifth, um, because you know we can take the, the negative sign out with odd roots, we end up getting just negative two. And then the fifth root of u to the 10th, will just be u squared, since if I took u squared to the fifth power, I would get u to the 10th. And then same thing for v to the 10th, I would have v squared. And then the remaining root over here, we just leave it alone. So our final answer here will be negative 2 u squared v squared uh, times the fifth root of 3 u squared. And that's it for simplifying radical expressions. These can be challenging, so make sure you practice this a lot. All right, until next time, have fun.